welcome back to Trailosophy. Today I'm going to be talking about winter clothing for a hike. So for my layers on top, I'm going to go through my four rules. So number one is something tight. Number two is something fleece. Number three is something down. And number four is something waterproof. I'm going to quickly go through my layers. So for my something tight, I have on a Lululemon really breathable um, form-fitted shirt so this is gonna help keep you insulated but also with the breathability um, it will help prevent moisture from building up and when moisture builds up and it gets cold then you really will get cold so that's really important now I have my fleece layer this is something that can be taken off or on as needed so if I'm hiking and it's um, I get really warm from hiking, from moving, then I might take it off to prevent moisture from gathering up in it. But if it's really cold out and I might not be sweating as much, I'll definitely leave my fleece layer on. And this is just a quarter zip, easy to throw on and off. So on the outside, I have my down jacket. This jacket is filled with 850 filled proof down and it is very lightweight. It only weighs, I think, about a pound. Um, but it's also extremely warm and I can zip it up. It's got a nice hood I can pull over if I want to keep uh, the back of my neck warm and everything. And a lot of times I'll also have my quarter zip zipped all the way up around my neck if it's really cold. And then my number four, I always carry with me a rain jacket or rain layer that's waterproof because this is also good, not only if it rains, but also to protect against wind. So this is the rain jacket. I will be bringing with me on my the names of this clothing in the description and you can actually pack it up into the front pocket so it gets about this small so really compact but still waterproof so those are my top layers next I'm going to be talking about my shoes and socks so for the winter I prefer Gore-Tex shoes because I like the comfort of being able to walk through snow and not having to worry about my feet getting wet um, on the outside of my shoes, as needed, I will be using micro spikes. These are a really lightweight version of micro spikes, so they're definitely worth the added weight to have the stability when I'm walking on ice. On the inside, I will be wearing some smart wool socks, just like this, or darn tufts, anything that's going to be kind of like a merino wool material that's going to keep my feet really warm. Then moving up from there, I'll have a base layer underneath something that's kind of warm either merino wool or alpine um, just to make sure that I'm staying warm and then I will have some kind of a soft shell type of pants I will also carry rain pants in my pack I don't have those to show you guys right now but that's something that I can either slip on over these or take off my outside shell and put on my rain pants also going to show you guys my gloves. So first I wear a really thin glove liner. These are merino wool or smart wool. Um, they're super thin, very lightweight. Then I'll usually pull the thumb hole up over my shirt. This keeps it from bunching up in my sleeve. And then I have a pair of fleece lined gloves. Also very thin, but I really like the movability that this provides me instead of wearing one thick waterproof winter glove. So it makes it really movable. And then after that, if it rains or is really cold and windy, I will add on a super lightweight waterproof mitten. And so this will just slip on over this whole glove system. perfect for trekking poles because I can still wrap my hand around my trekking poles and be completely safe from the rain. So yeah, that is my winter system. Oh, and a hat. Hat's really important. Keep your ears warm. And I like things that zip up my neck because it keeps my neck really warm. So when it comes to winter hiking, what's really important to remember is layering. This is something that should be adjusted throughout the day as needed. Layer on when you're cold, layer off when you start sweating especially when you get to camp definitely get those layers on or if you're stopping for lunch so you don't get too cold thank you guys for watching my video on winter clothing 
Please feel free to comment any of your tips on what you wear on your winter hikes and backpacking trips and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.